All right, let's go. I'm uh, I'm I'm like weirdly nervous about this. This is the first time that I am doing YouTube videos. I've done Twitch before. Um, my name's Danny. I'm gonna be playing through with Doncaster on Football Manager 20. Um, so I've just just been confirmed as uh, as the new manager of Doncaster. Um, yeah, so I guess let's go and see how it goes. I'd like to formally welcome you to Doncaster to get you acquainted with your new surroundings. You'll receive our introductory welcome pack before going on to finalize the vision and objectives we are to proceed together with. Congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. Ah, oh, well. So we have 15,231 people um, who can come in to keep Moat Stadium and we have training facilities that are good, great, I guess is the word, not good. Um, and then average youth and average youth recruitment, average youth facilities and recruitment. Um, reputation's not like super great. And then the media prediction is 16th, I think there's 25 in League One. Um, we're in League One as well. Um, and then no director of football, and a couple, a couple of trophies. Um, so our best cycle of success was during the 2000s, and their last competition win coming as recently as 2013. That was seven years ago. So I don't know if that is that recent, but whatever. Um, Rivers are a club with growing history. We won the English third tier in 35, 47, 50, and 2013, and we're runner-ups two times, won the English fourth tier in 66, 69, and 2004, and finished runners-up once, won the losing trophy once in 2007 in the Conference League Cup in 1999 and 2000. Great. So I guess this is our... Okay. So... So our captain's Ben Whitman, who is a defensive midfielder, um, and I'm pretty sure he's also a, a midfielder anyway. Um, uh, goalkeeper's on loan, so that's hopefully until January, which isn't ideal. Um, Maddie Blair, uh, I think it's John Baptiste, something John, Reese James, Ben Whitman, Cameron John. Um, Kerbinger and Sheaf in the midfield, Ben Sheaf is on loan from Arsenal, and then Kieran Sadlier and Taylor, I don't know his first name, um, and then Nat Lannis on loan from Wolves is in our best 11. Obviously we haven't started the season yet so we don't have a top goal scorer. Reese James is apparently our top earner, and he's, oh no he's not on loan. And our best, a key player is Ben Norman. Okay, cool. Okay. Develop players using the club's youth system. Very good. I um, I personally prefer developing players rather than buying better players. I don't know. It's just how I feel about it. Um, play entertaining football. Okay. Working within the wage budget. Be, could be a difficult one. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so we just want to avoid relegation in League One, which we can hopefully do. Um, but I think media predictions mid table, so that should hopefully be doable. Um, FA Cup third round and Carabao Cup second round. And then by next season, we want to be an established Sky Bet League One team, and that's when my contract expires. And then Basically, by 2024, we want to be in the playoffs for Skybet 1. Okay. So, I'm getting 2.1k per week. It's a lot of money. I wish I wish that's what I was making. 2.1k. I'd, I'd take 2.1k a month. Okay, let's look at... I have literally no recruitment, apart from one data analysis. 
Analysis isn't a word. Analyst. Let's put it out in advert for director of football. Chief Scout. Scout. And data analyst. Okay. I also only have one coach, which is the dream. Okay, so according to this, wing play, fluid counterattack, and direct counterattack are the premiums for for uh, Doncaster. I suppose that makes sense. I am um, not a huge fan of wing play. Let's start with a fluid counterattack. Because I imagine we're going to be on the defensive a lot this season. How do I? Should I not be the one doing that? Chose. Um, so, I guess technically rest in the world. Um, but in terms of squad depth, if we look at all positions, we don't. So, using anything with an attacking midfield is probably a no go. We have a decent amount of wingers. Decent amount of strikers. I mean, six on eight. We barely have, you know, wing backs aren't something we should use. Um, so I think what we need to do is we need to tra strengthen left back and right back. And then probably the midfield as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that'll, that'll be my aim is I want to get another midfielder. Another left back and another right back, and I think hopefully that should be good. We'll see. What is my budget? I haven't even looked at that yet. Transfer budget 50k, um, wage budget 60k, and I'm currently spending 55k, and my scout budget 62k. Okay, cool. Um, I think though I don't have any staff, so a lot of my wage budget's gonna go to my. It's gonna go to my um staff. Right. Time for the team meeting. Alright. I'm going to be passionately introducing myself as a new Doncaster manager. Okay. Alright. I strongly believe there's enough ability for us to avoid being joined. Perfect. They're not super into it. These guys are though, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> Okay. It's a great response now that we're all on the same page. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know who has an inspiring first team meeting as manager. Your appointment as manager of Doncaster Rovers has come as a shock to a lot of people who traditionally view football as a man's game. I imagine it would be quite shocking if a if a twenty three year old girl was appointed as manager of a League One game, uh, team. I think it's slowly being eradicated. Okay, so looking at our tactics, this is because I just set up the these two here. Just because I set up the um, I just set up our one play tactics. But looking at our tactics, um. I have a counter-attacking one that I have as our first choice um, primary tactic just because I think that um, realistically the way that it's going is that that Doncaster are likely to be 
in like not the favorites for most of the matches we're going to be playing um so i wanted to have a counter attacking system we're not very familiar with it we're apparently very awkward <laughs> um and then this is our one play system um which we're going to be using today because it's against the under 23s and presumably the first team should be better than our under 23s never know though um so we have Kaziah Sterling and Niall Ennis up front um John Taylor and Kieran Sadlier um as the wingers Ben Whitman and Ben Sheaf it's Ben is it Ben Whitman pretty sure it is it is Ben so we have double Ben in the midfield um and then Reese James Cameron John ooh, Donovan Daniels and Maddie Blair, and then Sunny Dang in goal. So hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I think. I think realistically, I really need to to hire a scout before I can bring anyone in. Um, I have when to see transfer. The transfer window closes in nine weeks, so I have some time um, to sign to sign uh to sign I wanted to sign a left back a right back and a midfielder so I have time um as you can see in the squad dev that's uh, that's that's where we're lacking um I mean we're probably okay in right back but ideally I think we want to like we have we have the three and a half star over here. I think a three and a half star hit would be good here. Um and then because Cam and John and Baptiste are both defensive and they're like one of our I guess Cam and John's not that high. But um Baptiste definitely like I don't I don't know like I don't really have an option to bring in for left back. And that's that's not ideal at all. Um and then maybe maybe a better left winger would be good too but and then we have like three midfielders um James Copringer is quite I don't want to say old but he's on the elderly side <laughs> that's what he's he's um he's 38 so he's he's I mean he's up there um he's he's suddenly older than me um, and so I just want to make sure that, that, um, the midfield has, like, good energy it's the entire season. Um, so I think bringing in another midfielder will help me accomplish that. Um, especially because the counter-attacking system uses three midfielders, um, so that would be all three of them. And then we would only have Gomes as, uh, the backup, and I don't know if that's necessarily great. Cool. So let's play against the under 23s. First team. Alright. Let's hope this goes well. Encourage the players. <laughs> My favourites for a reason. <laughs> this might only be a preseason friendly, but I still expect a win. What a weird thing to say. Okay. Okay, so we're 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 the home team, thankfully. <laughs> so Whitman through the sheaf. Strong mid midfield start. The bends are on it. So I have it set up for extended highlights. Oh, Greaves has a free kick, which Daniels gets. And Taylor just stands there for Greaves to take the ball from him. Mirroring? Was that mirroring? Shoots, but just goes straight for the player in front of him, which I I think is the, uh, when I played Doncaster last year, that was like all my players did would be just like shoot the ball directly into the player in front of them. Sadly, has got the ball. He's going for it. He's running. 
he's he seems to be confused. <laughs> so, oh, it's through the tailor. Maybe a little too much on the ball. And he just he just passes it straight to Amos, which is what you want to do. He's com he's also confused. What is what is is that how you would pronounce that? He really he really should have scored there, but he just had terrible finishing. <sighs> Kieran Sadler's got the ball. Kicks back to James. Oh, that was, that was, that's a shame. It hits the crossbar up into the top bar and then doesn't go in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this giant light is doing. I mean, you probably can't see it because of my face, but it's just like a giant, giant light in the way. All right, so we've got a free kick. Cool, cool, cool. Is it really slow? Like, is that my imagination? Maybe it's because I usually have it slightly faster. Oh, that was good. Sadler's got the ball. Again, just kicks it straight into the player in front of him. Wins the corner though, so I suppose I haven't set up. I actually haven't set up any of the takers. That was really poor from Daniels. Hmm, avoiding relegation, you see. 20 minutes in. Thomas has the ball. Again. Just terrible finishing. I don't even know if the if Dang was even trying to get it. Now Ennis has the ball. Oh, oh. Salia tries to head it, but it just goes over the top bar. For a disappointing finish, which seems to be the way. Again, Taylor just passes it to Amos. I don't think he's aware that he's not on our team. You can see how it would be confusing. Blue and red, so similar, like I said. Let's tell them that I want more from them. Waters has the ball, again. Maybe it's just the Doncaster method to just kick it straight into the person in front of you and hope that the sheer force somehow <laughs> somehow gets the ball through a human body. So Taylor knocks it out for a throw in. I feel like, let's see, we've had more possession thankfully. But, like, I feel like we should be a lot better than the reserves, especially because it said that we didn't have a strong squad. <sighs> and as possible through to Taylor. Oh. Ben Sheaf takes a shot, but does not find the net. I mean, technically, no one's playing poorly. I suppose Reese James is like a little bit subpar right now. But and I suppose they haven't played football in quite some time. Taylor passes through to Ennis who passes through to Whitman through to <laughs> Reese James who again just kicks it straight into the player. And sailing just straight over the ball. I don't know if they know where the net is but I mean the under 23s also haven't scored and it's through to Sadlia who's he's running for it kicks it straight into Shane Blaney <laughs> Maddie Blair manages to save the day should I aggressively yell at them probably not so far i think i think their goalkeeper is the well apparently we've had four shots that he's had to save so that's that's good i suppose he's i think he's the player of the match right now i will assertively 
tell them that I am looking for these sanders to be set in these friendlies and you're not meeting them so far. That's a decent, decent option. Not this is this is too encouraging for how I feel. We'd be in the better team here. Keep playing. No no. This one. Ah, I've inspired them. Perfect. Um, I will probably make some changes soon. Because, I mean, I guess uh, the point of this is to see everyone play. <sighs> the under-23s are doing decently. They're opening. Well, the Greaves just straight, straight over the bar. Maybe they think it's AFL. Alright, let's see. Ooh. And Sheaf passes through to Whitman. Through to Taylor. All the way over to James. Who was like a good, I want to say like 30 degrees off. Alright. We'll see how this goes and then we'll make some changes. Over to Taylor. Taylor passes through to Ennis. Oh. Heads it straight into the hands of Lewis Jones. Could be Louis. I suppose. Um, okay, let's see. Who's not doing well at all? Kasaya Sterling. So let's see. Who do I have that I can bring on? I could bring on May or I could bring on Bingham. Let's bring on May. And then who else? Sally is not doing well. And my backup for him. Oh, oh my god. It was going on in the background. And I miss the goal. Alright. So Whitman passes through to Ennis. He's just he's running for it. Straight past the goalkeeper. We're winning. Against our own reserves team. It's about time. I hope they're fired up now. Well they're calm. They're calm. They're ready for it. So Taylor over to Shane Mullaney. Baptiste throws through to Jones up to Salia. I guess we, we've got a penalty. <laughs> Please score. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So, I mean, probably going to win. Um, I will take some people. Donovan Daniels is looking pretty pretty lowly so let's bring on right and maybe who else is not doing well let's just bring everyone on why is it still going in the background and the sink come on for Baptiste coming in come on for Whitman Gums for Sheaf He can't play there. Oh, but I know Kiwama can. There we go. A fully traded out team except for Ennis. It's totally how football works, right? Alright. I haven't set up set pieces at all. Copinger takes it the corner and just no one finds it. Halliday, one of the new subs, one of the many and Alfie May scores clearly with my two my two substitutions out of all ten that I did. I'm clearly a superior manager from from my under twenty threes manager apparently. Alright. Nice. That was actually pretty good. I mean, presumably it's the first time either of them have been involved in the match. I like how those suspicions of offside in a, in a like a intra team. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Now, now they've got the the fire in them. Kiwoma passes to Anderson all the way up to Ennis and he's straight into Ravenhill. <laughs> Kiwoma picks it back up. Back to Copinger. 
who again <laughs> straight into Cody Pryor. Thomas has the ball. Oh, that was a that was a decent save. He leapt for it. He he felt it in his heart. Longbottom has the ball through to Amos. Can we defend? <laughs> I do like how my players seem to enjoy it. Oh, we're uninterested apparently. Let's show some passion then. Look how complacent these guys are. Now they're fired up. It's good. It's good. So we can defend, apparently. But I do like, my players seem to take the ball and then just like stop to think for a bit. Which, I don't know, is the best approach in, a, in sports. Maybe if you're like, under 10s? Under 15s, maybe? Anderson with a long ball forward, straight to Shane Blaney. Bring it with the free kick to the future Ennis. Oh, and Jones makes a cracking save. I mean, I'm happy with a 3 0 win. Clearly, my assertive half time talk was what did it. Bring it with another free kick. Ooh. It's headed straight over. And it's all over. Well, we won. So that's good. We can assertively say a good performance, sure. Ben Whitman looks stressed about that though. He's not happy with me saying that was good. Fair enough. Um not good at heading, we're not good at long shots, not good at marking or tackling, so our midfield's probably not that great. Ben, ben Whitman's meant to be our best, play, our best player. We're not good at first touch, we don't have a good, <laughs> we don't have good technique. Our teamwork's shit, our long throws are shit, our goalkeepers are eccentric, and they like to rush out. We're not good at free kicks. Which I think we saw in that under 23s match with Venice. We're not brave. We're not aggressive. <laughs> we're not fit either. And we're not very good at concentrating. Really, it's a team built for me, I think. So, that's, that's the dream. So, I think we're gonna do. Where's my schedule? So, we'll come back for the first game of the season. Um, hopefully I'll have some chances done, but you never, you never know. Yeah, so if you've managed to make it through this video somehow, thank you for sticking around. Um, if you do like the content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Like I said, this is, uh, my first attempt at creating YouTube content. Um, I've, like I said, I used to be a not used to. I, 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 I typically to a stream, but I think I think with Football Manager it makes more sense to, to do like a YouTube series. Um, it's something that I was thinking about, I've been thinking about for a while, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that people will like it. Um, but let me know any thoughts that you have. Yeah. Alright. 